Sometimes you need to be able to play a series of sounds in a particular order. For example, in this project we have these two gym sounds that have been built using random containers. They are designed to represent a magic gym falling to the floor and breaking apart. The first random container, called gym head, is the initial impact. And the gym tail is the subsequent sound of the gym bouncing again and breaking apart. We want these sounds to automatically play in sequence. To do this, we'll use something called a sequence container. A sequence container can contain multiple sounds within and provides tools for when each of those sounds will play. We'll first select all of the objects to be included in the sequence container, then right click and choose New Parent, Sequence Container. We'll name the new sequence container Gem Drop. Now, if we expand the gem drop sequence container, we can see the objects contained within. We can see that the transport control is focused on the gem drop sequence container, but if we try to click play, nothing happens. This is because we haven't yet created a playlist for this sequence container. With the gem drop sequence container selected, take a look at the gem drop contents editor. Here we see all of the objects contained within our sequence container. But to the right, we see a playlist which is currently empty. This is why nothing is going to play if we try to play the sequence container. To populate this playlist, simply drag objects from the contents editor into the playlist. We'll start with the first sound we want to hear, the gem head, followed by the gem tail. Now you'll see a yellow play icon. The play icon indicates where we're going to start playing in the playlist each time the sequence container is played. To test this, we need to first choose the gem drop sequence container so that the transport control has its focus. Now, if we click the play button, we hear a randomly selected gem head, and we see that the play icon moves to the next item in the playlist. We play again, we hear the gem tail. Currently, the gem drop sequence container only plays one object within the playlist each time that the sequence container is played. We want to modify this behavior so that it will cycle through the entire playlist automatically when the sequence container is played. To do this, go to the sequence container's property editor and within the play mode area, choose continuous. Now, when we play the gem drop sequence container, we can hear how it automatically moves through the entire playlist. The problem is that the timing feels a little bit off. It feels like there should be a little bit of silence between the gem head and gem tail sounds. We can create some space by adding silence into the sequence container. Right click the gem drop sequence container, choose new child and select wise silence. This creates a sound SFX object that instead of referencing an audio file, it simply plays silence for a defined amount of time. Change the time to 0.25 seconds and close the window. Right click the new object, choose rename and call it silence. Select the gem drop sequence container and drag the silence from the contents editor to a position just before the gem tail in the playlist. Select the gem drop sequence container one last time and let's take a listen. Now the timing of the gem drop sound feels much better.